X-15 Flight 91 was a 1963 American manned mission, and the second and final flight in the program to achieve sub-orbital spaceflight—a flight over 100 km in altitude—which was previously achieved during Flight 90 a month earlier. It was the highest flight of the X-15 program. It was the first flight of a reused spacecraft, as plane number 3 flew the previous sub-orbital flight on July 19. This mission was piloted by Joseph A. Walker on August 22, 1963, with the air launch occurring from a modified Boeing B-52 Stratofortress support plane over Smith Ranch Dry Lake, Nevada, United States. Walker piloted the X-15 to an altitude of 107.96 km and remained weightless for approximately five minutes. The altitude was the highest manned flight by a spaceplane to that time and remained the record until the 1981 flight of Space Shuttle Columbia. Walker landed the X-15 about 12 minutes after it was launched, at Rogers Dry Lake, Edwards Air Force Base, in California. This was Walker's final X-15 flight. Jiru <laughs> 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 Topic. Mission parameters Mass, 15,195 kg fueled, 6,577 kg burnout, 6,260 kg landed Maximum altitude, 107.96 km Range, 543.4 km Burn time, 85.8 seconds Mach, 5. 58 Launch vehicle, NB-52A Bomber No. 003 Topic mission highlights On this flight, Joe Walker became the first person to enter space twice. He had a maximum speed of 3,794 miles per hour, 6,106 kilometers per hour, and a maximum altitude of 354,200 feet. Second and final X-15 flight over 67 miles. Unofficial altitude record set for class. Highest altitude achieved by X-15. Last flight for Walker in X-15 program. Number 1 left RCS nozzle froze up. First flight with altitude predictor instrument needed calibration. The mission was flown by X-15 number 3, serial 56-6672 on its 22nd flight, launched by, NB-52A number 003, pilots Bement and Lewis. Takeoff, 1709 Coordinated Universal Time. Landing, 1856 Coordinated Universal Time. Chase pilots, Wood, Dana, Gordon and Rogers. The X-15 engine burned about 85 seconds. Near the end of the burn, acceleration built up to about 4 g 39 meters per square second. Weightlessness lasted for 3 to 5 minutes. Re-entry heating warmed the exterior of the X-15 to 650 degrees Celsius in places. During pull-up after re-entry, acceleration built up to 5 g 49 meters per square second for 20 seconds. The entire flight was about 12 minutes from launch to landing.
equals equals notes <laughs>